Hello and welcome back. In this one, we want to revisit our operator.py file here. And I understand some of you are having problems with naming this operator.py. So go to that file, which whatever you named it, and let's remove all of these dummy items right here. All right. So the first thing we want to do is, of course, import our Mongo instance. Or if you are using SQL, import the SQL formats. All right. We've already discussed this, so you should know how to do this. So I'll just say. Actually, I want to keep this consistent, so I'll do it down here. So from PyMongo, I'd like to import Mongo client. Uh huh, right there. And now down here, so I'll simply say client is equal to Mongo client db is equal to silver powers. And now finally, what we need to check is our stocks. So we'll say, I'll simply say self here. And I'll also say self dot stocks is equal to self dot db dot, yeah, I think we named it stocks. Yeah. Control us to save and that is done. So now we can use our stocks here in our update purchases. So the first thing we want to do is get the actual code. So we'll simply say target underscore underscore code is equal to and this is going to be equal to uh, so good stocks would find one. And we are going to find the product code which corresponds to our code here. We called it P code. All right, just like that. So now we want to check if the target code is not equal to nothing. All right, so if target code is equal to none then we have a problem here we are going to use the same notify function for now let's just pass here all right otherwise if we got a target code back then obviously we have a valid target all right so what we want to do is basically do all of this stuff so here we'll remove all of this And here we need to change a few things. So the code is going to be equal to our product code. All right. And that's okay. The name now we need to change the name. All right. So the name is going to be equal to target code and product code. Product underscore name. Sorry. All right. So now we have our name. What else? Quantity is okay. Discount is basically the same thing as this. So, actually, I don't think we have discount. So, we'll skip discount. But price, we want price. So, price is going to be that and change this to product price. All right, just like that. And the total is going to be. So, the total for this is simply going to be. Our price times this and I believe we are already calculating total yep right here so we'll leave total as it is and right here I think we have everything we need hopefully all right so now let's go down here and we want to remove this we no longer need this now all right and the product price now is going to be the price right here right so we'll say P price is equal to price. Actually, price, yep, we have a problem. Price is a label. So we want to say price dot text. All right, just like that. And I believe we have everything now. P price quantity and what else do we need to change? 
all right that should be all we'll fix the errors when we get there let's try to run this python 3 and this is operator goodbye and says silver pos is not defined which is pretty strange oops it's supposed to be client dot silver pos control us to save and let me try this one more time all right so i'll enter in a product code here 12980700052 and we have separate for that and plus and string all right so this should be or is it i believe it's right here i'm gonna try it. yep it's right there so for float and string p price is supposed to be actually let me change this to a floating point so i'll simply say float control us to save this and let's run this now and let's try this one more time and now our products are being added to our screen all right so i'd say everything is working great let me add two and this is also still working all right so we are done for this one any questions leave them in the question section otherwise guys i'll see you in the next one and of course check out the udemy course all right the link is going to be in the description later